How nice of you to be here today. Hey, I'm Tyler. This is South 10 Beer Reviews. Thanks for stopping by. Got a sweet beer tonight. Uh, I'm really pumped about this one because uh, this same brewery makes one of my favorite beers of all time. This is going to be a beer from Parrish. Uh, so Parrish makes Ghost in the Machine, which is one of my favorite beers of all time, like I just said. I pick it up just about any chance I have uh, to get it. So um, I saw this, and this is a triple IPA. This is going to be Atticus Atlas. Uh, this is a, yeah, like I said, triple IPA uh, coming in at, uh, is it 10%, I believe? Where's it at? So, it's a really dirty can. It literally just came out of the fridge. I don't know. It's kind of suspect. Uh, I think this is a 10%er. We'll check it out once we do the uh, untapped portion. But, uh, yeah, Atticus Atlas. And this is batch number three, according to the can. But look at that. Beautiful label. It's got like a, almost like a holographic type design to it. A uh, really simple label. I'm definitely gonna uh, probably keep this one, put it on the old beer fridge outside. But um, let's go ahead and get this one into a glass. And yeah, I got my phone, so we'll be able to do the, the untapped check-in part. Uh, yeah, it looks like a New England style slash hazy IPA. Comes in that nice like Pale gold color, looks like uh, orange juice. Uh, it's got about a finger's worth of very fluffy, uh, soap sudsy, like even like creamy looking head. Looks like we might get some lacing too, if we're lucky. Um, so yeah, this looks like Ghost in the Machine, from what I remember. It looks like a lot of New England style IPAs though. Uh, I wouldn't say that this is, you know, uh, distinct to this beer or um, whatever, but. Anyway, let's shove our nose in this one. I'm really pumped. Ooh, that's got, uh, what is that? That's got a very distinct um, nose on it. It's definitely got like sweet, like pineapples, like the little cut up pineapple tidbits that you get and that come in like the pineapple juice. Like it's got that, it's like the pineapple, you know, and that like concentrated juice. Uh, but it also has a nice hint of like uh, fresh pineapple as well. But this one has also got this nice little thing of like, it, I'm interpreting it as cantaloupe. Cantaloupe or mango. It's got a nice, I think more mango actually. Uh, it's got a nice big mango character. A little stone fruit maybe. It's got a nice like dank character though too. A little bit of pine. Light like bready malt character, but it does smell like it's going to have... Uh, like it's gonna be sweet, so I'm kind of expecting that. And I swore I, I could have sworn that I saw the alcohol content on the can, but um, I don't know. It's a triple IPA. I would say it's probably 10%. Just if I had to guess. Also, this was canned on January 8th, so it's about three months old. Got a very nice nose on it, though. I'm excited. Let's go ahead and try it. Cheers. Hmm. It's got a little booze to it. This is right out of the fridge too. So yeah, this one does have a little booziness to it. it really does. It's got like a, a pretty prevalent, um, like piney dank character to it though as well. The mango does come through. The pineapple comes through. Like sweet citrus. It's got a decent bitterness to it as well. Yeah, it really does. It really does have some booze to it though. Like you're, you know you're drinking a big beer with this. Even though I don't even know, you know, how big the beer is. Um, so yeah, it's not quite as, um, uh, juicy and like fruity hop flavor as the nose has on it. And, uh, it's quite different than I anticipated it to be. Um, you know, it is three months old. Usually that doesn't concern me at all. I mean, I don't care to even drink one at four months or five. I mean, <laughs> you really start noticing things though. Um, but I don't know what this is supposed to taste like fresh. I don't know if this is just like a big boozy, um, triple IPA or if it's supposed to be more fruity uh, and more hop flavor but um, to me it's got a little bit of alcohol burn it's got a little bit of booze to it um, it does like I said it does have a piney like dank thing uh, it's got some sweet sweet citrus uh, some a little bit of that stone fruit and the mango comes through um, but a little too much on the dank I mean not dank on the boozy side for my liking as far as triple IPAs go 
Uh, I mean, it's still a decent beer uh, in my opinion, but it's just not really for me. You can tell it's well made. Um, I'm just curious though. I would, I would love to know if anybody else has had this beer, if it's supposed to be this dank or I keep saying dank. It's supposed to, if it's supposed to be this boozy or if that's kind of something where the age is kind of getting to it. But, um, yeah, I mean, you know, no harm, no foul. Uh, it is what it is. You know, it's just <laughs> every beer is not for everybody. So, um, and again, don't take that as me saying this beer is not good because it is, it is good. It is tasty. Uh, it's just a little bit too much on the boozy side for me. Uh, you know, uh, everybody has their preferences. Uh, you know, I do uh, enjoy triple IPAs quite quite a bit, um, but I think some are a little better at hiding the alcohol uh, than this one. So, um, you know, I, coming from Parrish though, who creates Ghost in the Machine, I just I. Kind of expected a little bit fruitier, a little bit more uh, hop flavor, you know. So, um, just a teeny bit disappointed, a teeny bit. Um, you know, I went into this with that beer in mind, uh, which you know that that's my fault. So, um, but anyway, yeah, guys uh, and gals, this is uh, Parish, and this is Atticus Atlas uh, Triple IPA. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed the video, but I uh, forgot. Let's go into the um, untapped real quick and just see what it uh, what it's getting on there. Okay, so it's getting a 4.26 um, overall. So it says this beer uh, it's our highest highest gravity IPA. Obscene amounts of galaxy hops used to counter the amount of malt uh, used to get over nine percent uh, while still keeping the bitterness low. Intense notes of mango, orange, and papaya. Uh, surf over a malt base that uh, serves to carry hops and more hops to the nose and the tongue. So yeah, uh, you know they said not not super bitter. They said they keep kept the bitterness down. I don't know. It's got a decent amount in my opinion. But um, so I've had uh, one friend check it in, uh, Daniel. Uh, he said juicy, yeasty, and bitter. He gave it a four point one. So it is juicy. Like I said, it does have those juice qualities, but it's more on the bitter side for me. So, uh, yeah, I think we kind of agreed on that. And as far as a rating from me, uh, it's probably going to get like a, I'm probably going to go around a 3.5. Uh, I know it's pretty far off from some of the other ratings, but, uh, in my opinion, uh, I think that's what that's what I'm going to give it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and a comment. Also, let me know if you've had this beer. would like to know if you guys think it was as boozy as me. Uh, don't forget to let me know what you're sipping on in the comments as well. And if you like what I'm doing, consider subscribing. would love to have you guys stick around. appreciate you guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.